So joining us live on the show is Femi Adetola, Nigeria Olympic Committee Met Media Officer. Good morning. Hello, good morning. How are you? I'm very well. It's good to have you live on our show. Yes, thank you so much. Yes, hope you've been sanitizing your hands and washing your hands regularly. <laughs> well, what can we do? I, I, have, I have one with me in the car, not even a subscribe Very true. It has, to, it has to always be with us. Let's keep ourselves safe out there. Yes. Now, let's talk about um, the postponement of the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Yes, sir, it might come as a big blow, but uh, we all saw this coming, and it's necessary for the postponement to happen. But how is uh, the Olympic Committee um, handling this? Oh, well, uh, well it's, it's, it's been handled very well because uh, it's not just about Nigeria and Nigeria, Nigeria Olympic Committee, but it's a, it's a, global, it's a global thing. So uh, it's, not, uh, it's not something one should look at as if uh, it's a bad thing. It's just that the, the pandemic, the COVID-19 pandemic is just uh, is scary and huge. You understand? So that is just it. Now uh, I'm sure the athletes have been preparing hard for these uh, tournaments, but was there a time Nigeria intended to pull out of the uh, summer event, knowing that countries like Australia, Canada, and Great Britain pulled out from the sub Summer Olympics? Was there a time Nigeria had plans of pulling out? No, no, at, at, no, at, no, time, at no time Nigeria was planning to pull out because, uh, the, you, know, you know, the president of the Nigeria Olympic Committee, Abu Gomer, is an IOC member. And uh, they, 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 they've been meeting over video for long. Out, over time, you know, to know and to decide on what to do. And they are working in conjunction with the World Health Organization. You understand? So that uh, they won't misinform people. And it was when the World Health Organization said, well, we can't continue with that. I was now said, well, it's, it's a couple of postponement. And that is how it has been uh, with Nigeria. All right. Uh, looking forward to 2021, what are your expectations? Uh, are we expecting our athletes to go out there to win most of, uh, most of the medals uh, at the 2021 Olympics, which will still be called the Tokyo 2020 Olympics? Well, I think it, 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 it should be a good one for us because uh, it, it, it will be more time for the athletes to prepare. You understand? Because uh, we're looking at four months before now, but now we have uh, another 16 months. I just pray, I just pray that... Uh, we qualify more athletes because we have we still have some to qualify. I uh, that it, I'm sure the window will be open now, and we have more athletes to qualify for the Olympics. Then we can prepare very well if there is enough funds because we have to we have to bear that in mind because that has been the pain over time. All right. Uh, finally, speaking on the, the coronavirus now, on the effect of uh, sports in general, do you think that um, like leagues like the English Premier League, uh, the football leagues, should we resume sometime in April or should everything be moved till 2021? Then that would mean that 2020 is a year without sports events. Uh, well, you know, you know what sports, uh, sports means to, to us as individual and uh, as, as a country and as, as the world. Because sport, sport is a big business. Mm -hmm. And like the EPA you mentioned, it's, it's big for them. It's huge for them. You understand? Yeah. I, I'm sure if, if, they can see, if they can see something to say, oh, there is no uh, coronavirus again in, in the world today, I'm sure the Premiership and other leagues and other sports will, will kickstart tomorrow. You understand? So yeah. I, we pray, because it's everybody's prayer that... Uh, the, the pandemic is is, uh, <laughs> is a way, and uh, we can go back to sports, even at home. Uh, you know, you know how it is now because uh, nothing to nothing to nothing to watch on television. It's just the the movie and the movie and movie and what and what have you, and uh, it doesn't all go well with some of us. Mm. So we pray that the pandemic is uh, is off, so that we can go back to our way of life. All right, thank you very much for talking to us this morning on Plus Sport and Plus TV Africa. Thank you so much. All right, do enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Well, that was Afemi Adetola, Nigeria Olympic Committee Media Officer, giving us updates on how the um, committee is handling the postponement of the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. We also spoke with Fumilayo Fameso, the founder and creative director of Nigeria Athletics, uh, as she responded to the postponement and, of course, what this would do to Japan's um, economy, because we hear that they just might be going into a recession um, if the tournament is being postponed. Uh, about 10 billion uh, pounds will be lost in down. But let's listen to Fumi and we'll be right back. The, first, the last time we spoke, I talked about Japan that 
they spent a lot for this year, um, for 2020. They've been ready since mid last year. And the money they spent is actually like, I can't transform it. I was hearing, um, um, I read somewhere that if the Olympics does not hold this year, that Tokyo will run into a deficit of a large percentage because of how much they spent. And that was the angle I was also looking at as sites to at me. So I think for next year, uh, what may happen is that since um, so many things, like so many of the um, equipment, the stuff they've gotten for this year are not going to be used, probably for next year, they are just going to try and maintain them till next year. But spending as much as they did, I don't think they will. It's an opportunity for more athletes to meet the standard because it's been extended by a year. But we can never say, like, you know, an athlete's life is not definite that, okay, it's a straight path. You understand? It's not constant. So we say that this year, some of these athletes are prepared. You know, the likes of Divine, everybody is waiting for him to, like, hit it this year after what he did at the end of 2019. The likes of Blessing, everybody wants to see what she can still produce at the Olympics if she still has it in her. The likes of him on the Ken Wayne won the African Games last year, and everybody wants to see what he can do at the Olympics. Tony Amuso, F.A. Bume. Now, before the postponement of Tokyo 2020, I had two prospects that win medals for Nigeria. Etsy and Toby. Now, for next year, we don't know the shape they'll be in for next year. We don't know if they'll be injured for next year. You understand? So there are so many irregularities that may come in. So it's not definite. You may say, oh, they'll they perform ne better next year because there's a one-year extension. But, you know, an athlete's life is almost programmed because you've been, the coach tries to prepare an athlete like every year for a certain um, period or a certain way ahead of the major championship. And they've done that for Tokyo. So doing that for next year is going to be difficult. Well, uh, the athletes actually looking forward to 2021 as they prepare for the Olympics, knowing that this one has been postponed and uh, we're expecting a very good tournament in that one. We know that money has been lost, but of course, life matters first.